Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can design the slab using StatPro software. We are going to design the two-way slab as well as the cantilever slab. Especially, we will design the cantilever slab using StatPro software and then we can cross-check the results with the manual design of cantilever slab. So, without further delay, let's begin now. To start with, let's make a simple model. Go to this beam grid. So we have the beams of 4 meter and then 6 meter. Let's copy this. Control C, Control V. And in the Z direction, let's give 5 meter. Let's use this option, add beam. Let's copy this and then paste in the Z direction minus 1.2 meter. This is the cantilever slab of 1.2 meter distance. These two beams we can merge together by using this merge option. Now let's add the columns here. Select, select the node cursor, select these nodes. Control C, Control V in the Y direction, minus 3. Okay. So we have the nodes over here. Just we can go to this geometry, add B. We can connect the columns like this. So now we have to make the plate element. In order to design the slab in StatPro software, we have to make the plates because it comes under element design. So let's add plate here. And for the cantilever slab as well. After adding the plate, we can delete these beams. We don't want this beam because it is a cantilever. So we have only the slab. Go to select plate cursor. Now we can do the meshing generate plate mesh quadrilateral meshing here the length is 5 meter so let's make into 10 divisions here it is 4 meter let's make 8 apply and this one we can make quadrilateral meshing 10 and for 6 it is 12 give apply so that you will be getting the aspect ratio of 0.5 to get the finer results we have to divide the larger area into smaller area so that is why we are meshing the plates here after that again select the plate cursor generate meshing it is 1.2 meter length this length so i'm giving 2 and for 10 we can give 20 to 20 give up to now you can go to this utilities under structure tool you can check multiple structure and then the plate connectivity after that node tools duplicate nodes you can check Confirm nodes beam tools you can check duplicate beams overlapping collinear members and plate tools you can check duplicate plate and then plate connectivity so no overlapping plates found everything is fine next let's go on to this properties add the properties define rectangle 0.45 by 0.3 giving the size rectangle size and one more we can add 0.3 by 0.6 add close and then plate thickness we can add 0 0.15 150 mm thickness close first one is for the columns assigned to selected beams and then next is for beams go to select beams parallel to x 
and this parallel to z 0.6 by 0.3 assign next plate go to select plate cursor select all the plates give assign properties has been assigned next let's select material is concrete assign go to support create fixed support select the support and then select all these nodes assign support is assigned go to loading in the load case details we can add dead load add live load add under dead load we can add the self weight and under live load we can add the plate load as plate pressure let's add 3 kN per meter square in the y direction add so self weight is assigned to view it is for all the structural members if you select the self weight command it should be highlighted next under live load we can add this to all the plates assigned to selected plates assigned so 3 kN per meter square has been assigned to all the slabs next let's add the load combinations auto load combination you can select here is 456 you can give here generate loads and then give add loads so here 1.5 times dead load plus live load and 1.2 times dead load plus live load and 1.5 times dead load and 0.9 times dead load this combination has been added as per is 456 we we are mainly focusing on this 1.5 times dead load plus live load load combinations has been added next let's go to analysis analysis command perform analysis all add close next let's go to this concrete design here is 456 we have to select the parameters clear cover we can take compressive strength yield strength of steel give okay next let's go to define parameter clear cover for the outermost bottom beam bottom reinforcement in beams it is 25 mm so 0.025 add and for the top reinforcement in beams also 25 mm add and then so compressive strength of concrete is 25000 kN per meter square m25 concrete add And main reinforcement 500 FE 500 will use add. So this we can give assign to view assign, and this is also assign to view assign. Now after that, go to this command. Let's add design beam, design column. And design slab add take off quantity also we can take close. So design beam we have to assign. Go to select beams parallel to x and beams parallel to z. So this is beams assign and go to design column has not been added. Let's add that design element is for the plates. Select plate cursor, select select all the slabs and then assign. After that, select this design column option. Beams parallel to Y. Assign. That's it. Let's go to this analysis and then we'll run the analysis and see. We have few warnings. Let's see what it is. So we have the warning length to depth ratio for member two is less than two point five. So for this we have to add the inch and inch parameters. That is enhanced shear parameters. So all the warnings are that only. So we'll go to the design option here. Before this design beam, we have to add those parameters. So select this. Go to define parameter. Here we have the option called inch. Let's give one over here and add after current. This option you have to check and then add. 
see this before design beam you have the edge parameter and then you have the wrench one after current add close this you have to assign to the beams go to select beams parallel to x and beams parallel to z assign and similarly this also assign now save this go to analysis and run the analysis see now we don't have any warnings over here we have zero errors and zero warnings let's go to output file and then look into the results so before looking into the results let's see the bending moment and shear force diagram go to post processing mode here select this load combination apply ok so we have the bending moment diagram this is the shear force diagram and if you want to look into the stresses of the slab you can go to this label plate contour select here and y local apply see the load combination is 1.5 times dead load plus live load apply okay so this is the stress contour of the slabs next let's look into the results if you go to concrete design so you have the beam design results beam size you have the top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement and you have shear reinforcement as well we are not going to concentrate on this beam and column design let's look into the slab design but this is how the stat pro will give you the design results you select the column so this is the column design results so you have the main reinforcement and dry reinforcement so we have the element design summary this is the slab design longitudinal reinforcement and the transverse reinforcement area this is the area of steel top and bottom almost we are getting the same area of 156 everywhere this is for every individual plate element so that is why we have many numbers these are all the plate numbers and this is the area so from this area we have to find out the spacing and the diameter of the bar so we have 167 172 over here 163 181 this is the maximum one so let's look into the plate number for this cantilever slab and then let's do the manual calculation if you go to the select plate cursor so the, these are the plates cantilever slab elements okay just double click on this so it is starting from 285 and then here see this 322 this is 323 284 85 so 3 284 to 323 it is starting somewhere here for the cantilever slab everywhere it is 156 only see till 323 it is 156 so this is the area of steel reinforcement now let's take this cantilever slab load and then let's do the manual calculation and see how it is matching with the stat result so dead load is the self weight of slab so self weight of slab is 0.15 multiplied by 25 25 is the unit weight of rcc and 0.15 is the slab thickness so it comes around 3.75 kilo newton per meter square okay and then live load live load we have applied 3 kilo newton per meter square so the total load is 6.75 total load is 7 kilo newton per meter square so we have to calculate the bending moment for this cantilever slab the formula to calculate the bending moment for the cantilever slab is w l squared by 2 which is equal to so w is 7 multiplied by l is 1.2 you know this distance it is 1.2 meter the cantilever slab distance is 1.2 meter divided by 2 
we get the bending moment as 6.048 kilo newton meter so this is the m value we have to calculate the mu by bd squared value to find out the percentage of reinforcement mu by bd squared which is equal to 6.048 multiplied by 1.5 is the factor multiplied by 10 to the power 6 divided by 1000 because we are calculating the value for 1 meter width multiplied by 125 square because the slab thickness is 150 that is overall depth if you deduct the clear cover and the bar dia it comes around 125 this is the effective depth so you will get 0.58 is the mu by bd squared value so by using this mu by bd squared value we need to find out the percentage of steel from sp16 this is sp16 table 3 for reinforcement percentage fck is 25 newton per mm squared and here we have the fy values and we have the mu by bd square value as 0.58 newton per mm square so here you have to look into the values we have the value of 0.58 so let's consider this 0.55 if you check this one we get the value of 0.13 for fe 500 steel 0.13 is the pt value because here also load we have rounded off 7 kilo newton per meter square so we can take this one as 0.13 and if you want to get the exact value then you have to do the interpolation between these two and then you can take now let's consider the pt value for this mu by bd square as 0.13 pt is 0 0.130 we have to find out the ast ast is equal to pt dd which is equal to pt is 0.13 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 125 divided by 100 so we get 162 0.5 m square as ast we look into the stat value see we have 156 from stat we get the area area of steel as 156 and as per manual calculation we got the value as 162 so it is almost closer from this we can find out the diameter and spacing of bar we can use 8 mm bar so area of 8 mm bar divided by this area will give you the spacing area of 8 mm bar is 50,000 mm square so we get the spacing as 307.6 we can provide T8 at 300 mm center to center for the cantilever slab so friends I hope this video was useful to you if you really like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends your comments are always welcome if you have any queries you can post it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching